Hello everybody, this is JT Productions and welcome back to another preview and prediction video. Today, I will be doing a video on the UMass Minutemen. Last season, UMass went 1-11, 1-3 in... FBS independent and had a six game losing streak to end the season. The only one game they won was against UConn. The rest they pretty much got blown out. In all every game but uh, well pretty much every game. They lost to Rhode Island by two scores, which was probably their um <clears throat> probably their uh besides their win, their Best loss, I guess. So let's hope that they can get it better this year. That's what I got in my notes. They have a new head coach, uh, Don Brown. He's in his first season at UMass. Can they improve at all? They have no transfers coming in that I know of. So let's just get to the schedule. This is not going to be pretty. On the offense, they pretty much have everybody back. Nobody notable was drafted in my that I know of let's just get this started week one they play at Tul Tulane you're not gonna win that one at Toledo week two you're not gonna win that one so you're 0 and 2 then you have your first home game Stony Brook I mean look at last year last year you lost to Rhode Island and Maine at home in blowouts, so let's hope that this coaching staff, I'm going to have hope that this coaching staff can get stuff done like this. So, I gave you a win. Stony Brook, I have no idea where they are, but I gave you the win there. Then you go on the road the next week to Temple, you're going to lose that one. Next week to Eastern Michigan, you're going to lose that one. So you're 1-4. Then you play Liberty, you're going to lose that one. You're one and five. Buffalo, you're gonna lose that one. You go into your bye week one and six. Then coming out of your bye week. Uh coming out of your bye week, you play New Mexico State. I don't think you're gonna win that one. Then you have back to back road games. Here's the weird part. I usually say that back-to-back -back road games, it's hard to win both of them. I have you winning both of these at UConn and then at Arkansas State. The UConn one, it's going to be a very close game, but I think I believe in your head coach a lot more than I do in their head coach. Actually, looking back at my notes, I don't. I think you lose to UConn, but I do think you beat Arkansas State. So, I think UConn gets revenge from last season. And you end up 2-10. and 10. After, you play Texas A&M and Army to end the season, which you lose both of those games. So, there you go. I have you at 2-10, and 10, an improvement from last year. You just, your talent is just not there, I don't think. You just... It's going to be very hard for a first-year head coach coming into a very bad situation to win two games. Oh, to Liberty on the Arkansas State. Butch Jones just seems like the type of guy to lose this type of game just because of late-season collapses. I could see this happening. Anyways, there you have it. I have UMass going 2-10 and ten on the year, finishing as one of the worst um, – teams in the FBS, but that's up to debate. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. I've said in most of these videos, I have multiple playlists for all these games. If you would like to watch them, go ahead and indulge. But anyways, have a great day and go dogs.